Allah says, I will turn away from my signs, all these signs which I mentioned. All the signs of recognizing Allah, His power, His Qudrat, the signs of becoming closer to Allah. Allah says, I will turn these people away. Allah, who are these deprived people? Who are these people whom Allah is saying, I will turn them away, subhanAllah. I will turn away from my signs, those who show arrogance on the face of this earth without its right, Allahu Akbar. Allah says, I will turn them away from recognizing me, from understanding my power, from understanding who I am. I will turn them away. They will see these signs, yet they will not recognize me, Allahu Akbar. Allah will deprive them. The first thing, the first effect of arrogance is that the person's intellect is taken away, Allahu Akbar. In today's day and age, we see tyrant rulers. We hear of them. There is tyranny and oppression of the highest level. Why? In them, there is nothing but kibber. They are killing innocent children. They are killing innocent people without thinking what they are doing. Why? They think we have got power and pomp. We are something. We have got the kursi. We think we are something. Pride. Takabur. They think they are something on the face of this earth. But when Allah will deal with them, Allah will deal with them inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will get hold of them and he will disgrace them. He will humiliate them in a way that they will be disgraced not only on the face of this earth, but inshallah, ala ru'usil khalayq, yawm al qiyamah, also they will be disgraced on the day of judgment in front of the whole of mankind inshallah. And the ultimate destination is the hellfire inshallah. Pride doesn't belong to the people of paradise. The first sin committed in the universe was pride. Committed by who? Satan himself. So pride is satanic. And the proud ones will be where Satan will be because that is his attribute and vice. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Iblis, Satan to bow before Adam, Abba, he refused. Was He became arrogant, and he said, "Ana minhu." Allah, I'm better than him. Subhanallah. That's why our scholars say the word "ana" is an extremely dangerous word. "Ana," I am, I am, I am. Everything. I am better. I am Mr. This. I am Mistress This. This "I" is a very dangerous word. Ambiyas don't use "ana." Shaitan used Anna. The Pharaoh used Anna. Anna Rabbukumul Ala. Pharaoh said, I am your Lord. Huh? Anna is not the word of a believer. A believer is humble. Once the people ask Musa alayhi salam, some people ask Musa alayhi salam, you know, is there anyone more knowledgeable than you? Living right now, Musa said, No. Allah took him to task for that. He says, No. So Shaitan said, Anna Khairum Minhu. I, all oh, I can bow to this man. I am better than him. You created me from fire. And you created him from clay. And fire is better than clay. The quality of fire is to rise. The quality of clay is to remain on the ground. What rises above is better than what remains on the ground. I am better than him. So anyone who goes in that way of, I am better than so and so, on account of whatever it is, wealth, knowledge, fame, whatever it is, he is going down the path of shaitan. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it very, very clear. The Holy Quran says, Inna Allah, certainly Allah, la yuhibbu man kana muhtalan fakhura. Allah does not love at all anyone who has pride in his heart and they are boastful and haughty. Allah doesn't love them. Who will love them and be their, their dost and their partners? Shaitan and the shayateen and the devils and the jinnats. They will love them because they are carrying on the traits of shaitan. Today's day and age, takabur and arrogance is the main reason of many a people committing sins. The mother of all evil is arrogance. We are this, we are that. Putting the chest out, you know, walking like he's walking on the moon, the jeep, <laughs> doing the moonwalk, la la, you know, chest out, man. How's it going, bro? Who is more powerful than Allah? Is anybody powerful than Allah, yes or no? Yet he's coming in the house of Allah. La, la, la. Wait a minute, man, where are you going, man? <laughs> where do you think you're walking to? SubhanAllah. 
What was the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu Rasulullah sallallahu walk was so simple. It was as though he was walking down a mountain, subhanAllah. He would walk as though he's walking down. Firm feet on the ground. Nowadays people walking on the tiptoes, you know, on the toes, subhanAllah. Somebody has been given some muscle. He wants to show the muscle now, mashallah. Yeah? The psalm something, man, I'm the man, yeah. Nowadays, na'udhu billah, women are walking with arrogance as well. Na'udhu billah, in thalik. Subhanallah, Allah protect us, Amin. Allah says, takabur is so bad. Well, what are you going to do? Innaka lan takhrika al-ard, wa la tamshi fi al-ard maraha. Allah says, don't walk on the face of this earth with arrogance, with insolence. What can you do? Can you pierce the earth? Yes or no? You can't do nothing. You cannot even pierce the earth and you cannot reach the right heights of the mountains here. Yeah. Have we forgotten our ibtida, our beginning? Have we forgotten how we will end? What was your beginning? Your beginning was that every one of you were nothing but a fluid. A fluid, a, a drop of semen. Allah created us with that very semen. Awwaluka, nutfat, and today you're arrogant. There was a time when you were born, you were helpless. You couldn't do nothing. You couldn't eat. You couldn't drink. You were dependent upon the people around you. You were on the mercy of the people around you, yeah? And today, Allah has given you power. Allah has given you qudrat. You can walk. Now you want to show that arrogance. Na'udhu billah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like people walking with arrogance on the face of this earth. This is why. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, that person will not enter paradise in his heart is an atom of pride. Allah. 